Hey guys, it's Rachel here, and today I'm going to talk to you about metabolic bone disease. I recently presented a case to my vet school about metabolic bone disease in a veiled chameleon, and I thought it was really interesting and important to share. I did change some details about the case to protect client confidentiality, but the gist is the same, and it's a good representation of metabolic bone disease. A little bit about the history of this patient. It was a 62-gram adult male veiled chameleon. It was purchased four months ago from PetSmart. It presented for anorexia, lethargy, shaking, and um, loss of use of its right limb. And it had a diet of crickets and had a heat lamp, but the owners were unsure of the proper temperature. Um, they didn't have um, any way of monitoring the humidity and they didn't have a UVB lamp. The physical exam was pretty limited because the chameleon was really weak and they didn't want to stress it out too much, but it was quiet, alert, and responsive. It had a heart rate of 40, a respiratory rate of 4, and decreased grip strength um, along with deformed limbs, which is a sign that could go along with metabolic bone disease. So for those of you that don't know what a normal skeleton should look like, I have this picture right up here. As you can see, it has a um, mineralized crest and all of the bones are normally formed. When we go to this image of an x-ray that I pulled off the internet because, again, I wanted to protect client confidentiality, you can see that a lot of the mineral opacity of the bones are decreased. In this dorsal ventral view, you can um, see that there are multiple folding fractures of the limbs. The, these fractures happen because the muscles are too strong for the weakened bones and they actually pull um, on their attachments and bend the bones over time. Um, it happens unfortunately in many of the limbs of the reptiles affected with metabolic bone disease. You can also see that there's decreased mineral opacity, um, especially in the phalanges. You can barely even see the bones at some points and um, you know they should be a lot um, more visible. So as a quick overview, we did find that the skeleton was diffusely, severely decreased in mineral opacity. The cortical bone throughout the skeleton was markedly thin, and there were multiple folding fractures present. So I pulled this picture off the internet. Um, you can see in the chameleon on the bottom that it looks like there's extra joints that shouldn't be there, and that's because of the folding fracture. So in conclusion, we did find metabolic bone disease with multiple pathologic fractures. I included a couple pictures of different reptile species affected by metabolic bone disease. As you can see, a lot of their limbs are severely deformed, a lot of times they'll have back problems, and it can happen to a variety of reptiles. At the top here, we have a crested gecko. At the bottom left, we have a leopard gecko. And on the right, we have a bearded dragon. Unfortunately, with a lot of these, the prognosis is guarded. You can correct the calcium and phosphorus imbalance, but their skeleton will never go back to normal. In this case, calcium supplementation, fluids, and pain medication were offered, um, but due to the grave prognosis, uh, humane euthanasia was elected. On necropsy, we could see that the femur, the radius, and the ulna are markedly soft and pliable, um, and there were chronic fractures in these places as well. We could also see that there was parathyroid hyperplasia, and I'll go more into that in just a minute on the disease process and how that's caused. So now to the big question, what is metabolic bone disease? It happens due to an imbalance of calcium and phosphorus causing a weakening of the skeletal structure. Calcium may be low due to a variety of reasons and it's different for each reptile. It could be because there's a deficiency in calcium in the diet, um, it could be due to an excess of phosphorus um, because these two are related. Um, it could be due to a lack of vitamin D, which is essential for a calcium metabolism. And um, this is caused in many reptiles due to lack of UVA and UVB lights, which are necessary for some rep reptiles to produce vitamin D. It can also be due to a lack of heat source because um, with this comes um, impaired digestion and they're unable to uptake the calcium from their diet. And overall, if the calcium phosphorus ratio drops too low, it causes the parathyroid gland to be um, simulated and secrete parathyroid hormone, which mobilizes the calcium from the bone. 
So if you liked this quick overview of metabolic bone disease, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot and it's encouraging to see when I'm able to help others um, understand these um, processes. I also have an Instagram and TikTok. Um, it's at exotic.pet.vet. Please feel free to get in touch with me there and let me know what you think.